Hello, this is the next video about a server and client or a client and server. So here, uh, what it is, is here we have a request that is made from the client to establish a net, uh, connection between the server. Okay, the IP address is given by the client and the uh, server uh, as establishes the connection. And then um, file name is being uh, given file name is given at the server side accepted that file name is accepted and then uh, using the uh, d out it writes the file name at the data output stream and this file name is read at the client side using d in which is data input stream so which is the this d in is a reference and it is read uh, at the client side so write writing the file name is done like this and reading is done like this okay so next is after the reading is done um, the file name is read by the client now the server needs to send the contents of a file to the uh, client so now the contents of the file server file is passed to the client by uh, reading the content using fin file input stream the fin is a, a reference by file input stream so this fn is a reference which reads the content it puts it in the buffer and it uh, it uses the d out data output stream and writes it into a buffer and this buffer which is written is read using using d in which is the data input stream so it is data input stream it is read this is a stream that reads the buffer okay and it uh, it, it looks for until it is less than the, it says until it is end end of the file now the whatever the read that is in the buffer is written to a file okay using file output stream so we specify what is the file that has to be written in fos that is file output stream so which we saw it in the program now this is an example of how we use d out and how we use d in so data output stream is a d out is the reference that is created data input stream is a d in that is we have created so d out using d out it writes into a buffer the content and then it is read using d in it is read reading the buffer okay so now this is the tcp ip client program i'll be explaining briefly or uh, step by step what is the uh, program so a scanner is a reference is created which helps you to get the input from the uh, console uh, which is still using this sc and then this is the way we use sc that is the reference that is of the scanner and we read the content of the uh, from the console and we put it to the address from the client's uh, client end we accept the uh, address server address we accept the server address and this server address we using the socket we establish a connection between the server and the client so whenever we give this line so accept is function is called at the server end except function is called and the establishment is established connection establishment is made now this is what happens the client sends the server name or the address and the port so this request is made and the connection is established and response is made then so this is uh, the data output stream we have using the data output stream we write the file name and it is accepted using d in at the client side now this is data input stream so the uh, the server also has data input stream data output stream the client also has data input stream data output stream so a buffer reader is a reader which helps to read the content from the input and console and reads keeps it in a buffer now data input stream has a different functions so these are the different functions of data input stream so here data input stream mainly uses in our program is a read read buffer so I read the length of the buffer so read reads up to, to length bytes of data from the contained input stream into an array of bytes this is the array of bytes reads it into the array of bytes now data output stream it writes the writes the content into the into the output stream 
So here, it writes the length. This is the length bytes from the specified byte array. This is the byte array starting from the offset. This is the starting from the offset to underlining output stream. Now, this is written into the output stream and this output stream is read using data input stream. Okay, so while we have typed start, uh, when we give start and it reads the, uh, it reads the line, buffer line, uh, it accepts and then uh, data outputs write the uh, write, write uh, it writes the data using write utf it writes the content into uh, a file into a uh, output stream okay so then here uh, client plus file name is a file that uh, that is created at the client side and then this is a file that contains the whatever the information we are asking from the server so the server gives the information and this is the file that we will have the details of the file that we have new file that is created which has the details of the file which we have said, given now this is the saving of the file Okay, file output stream is used to write the contents into a file. Okay, this is file output stream, write the contents into a file which is this buffer. This buffer contains the information of the file. So until it is, uh, it has an, it reaches the end of the file. So now when it is done, when the new file is created, writing the contents of the file. So we have write, we write it is completed. And then um, we close the file output stream and we close the data output stream. And this is a server, server side, what we, we ask the file name, this is the file name we ask and then um, this is the scanner, we accept the file name using this and we create the socket address, this is the port address we create, waiting for the request. We, in the server side, we accept the listening, we accept the uh, uh, client's request and then after we accept, the established connection is established and when the connection is established at the server, we accept the what is the file name, file name is accepted and we pass the file name. So this file name is passed and then it reads the contents of the file name. This is file in using file input stream. This is created file file new file is created and we pass the file name here and uh, like this we pass the new file name and then using fn we read the content of the file. First we read the length of the file, we read it into buffer the contents and after reading it we write it into the uh, into the uh, uh, D out into the data output stream. So we write the contents into the data output stream and in the client side we read it using D in whatever the client information we have given uh, whatever the file information we have given it is read in the D in using D in. Okay so then uh, the send is complete then we flush we close D in we close S and we complete the program.